found out that you were going to go in, were you surprised? Um, no, I wasn't really surprised. Uh, well, a little bit because I had been talked about it years before, but uh, there, I'm in communication with uh, a good friend of Hubie Brown's, and I knew that there was a big push to get me in, and uh, that it was a possibility. Was that always something in the back of your mind? Like, you know, I'd, I'd like to be in the Hall of Fame. No, my my first thought was I want to be on the my high school varsity basketball team. <laughs> and then I, I had a little bit of success there. Uh, and then I started thinking maybe I will get to play college ball. And uh, not until after maybe my junior or senior year did I think I would have a shot at playing pro basketball. You've talked what, about what not being it about basketball, Louis, that <laughs> drew you to it. What did you like about it? Did you have to learn to like it, or was it an immediate No, it, it was a sport. <laughs> I liked all sports. Uh, I think I told you that baseball was my favorite sport when I was growing up. And uh, so I always dreamed of being a professional baseball player from the time I was a little kid, uh, rather than being a professional basketball player. Louis, you picked Dan Issel to, to induct you tomorrow. Why Dan, and, and talk about that relationship with, with Dan. Well, he and I were great friends as teammates and roommates with the Colonels, and uh, we've been we just been so close and and stayed in contact and see each other as much as we can since those days. And yeah, we're we're just the best of friends. And I had other choices. I thought about Hubie and Artis Gilmore because we could have three, but uh, I wanted to keep it simple and keep it with, with Dan.